They're off and pacing. And it's Buckeye one between horses, but can't make the top as there goes Sharky Osborne right up on the inside. And around the turn they go as they circle into the back lane. Jacobs Wester now gears right up and goes up and takes that second position. As Marl Hanover settled in third. Off the curve now, U Rock is fourth. Buckeye one over there, fifth. Up front, Brad in early sixth, followed by Captain Silver Heels. They get to the quarter pole in 27 seconds. They go winging onto the far turn the first time. Sharky Osborne has the lead by a length. Jacob Zolestern is there second a length. Looking to the outside, Morrow Hanover, and out he comes. Also moving up outside, you rock. End of the lane, they turn down to the halfway point of the race. And as they pass the stands, moving back in on the rail. That was Morrow Hanover, and now here comes you rock right up the outside. Followed out there by up front, Brad, also on the way up. Captain Silver Heels, the trailer Buckeye won. Halftime, 55 and three-fifths. In and out of the clubhouse, turn they go in her payoff half mile. Sharky Osborne starts him in the backstretch, has that lead a length right there knocking on the door. Jacobs Western on the outside, you rock is third. On the outside, that's up front, Brad is fourth. It on the rail, Morrow Hanover fifth. Wet Captain Silver Heels and Buckeye one. Three quarters is in, 124 and two. On the turn, coming home in the first division of the Miller Lite, Cleveland Classic. It's Sharky Osborne a half. Now here comes up front, Brad making a three-wide bid. You rock is in there between horses, battling there in the top of Heartbreak Lane. And bringing them down, Sharky Osborne fighting to hold it. Then it's you rock and out, pouring on the coal up front, Brad. It's you rock up front, Brad, with Sharky Osborne. There they are in 153. Riding into the winner circle after that mile in 153, winner of the first division of tonight's Miller Lite Cleveland Classic, number three, U Rock. As a son of the Panderosa, recording his fifth victory of the year, is owned by William Zent, Robert Huntsinger, and James Webb Jr., all of Pennsylvania, trained by Bill Zent, driven tonight by Brian Zent. Trackside making the trophy presentation. We have the sales manager of Miller Brewing Company, Mr. John Pachinski. He's accompanied by Mike Tremonti and the man who was the original driving force behind the sponsorship of the Cleveland Classic by Miller Lite and the Miller Brewing Company. He's the founder of Tremonti Distributing, our local Miller distributor, Mr. Jack Tremonti. And Zent, the winner, uh, winning driver behind you, Rock, in the first of our two divisions of the Miller Lite Cleveland Classic. Brian, we're going to take a look at the replay. You can take us step by step through the race, but uh, really a gutty performance for this horse. He had more pace. Of course, he had to hold his horse together more than I did. And uh, when the horse got alongside you, Rock, there, I think he dug back in just a little. He really did. A game performance for this uh, Pennsylvania bred. Obviously, uh, a half mile track in Ohio is a great place to prep for the ultimate half mile track in Ohio race. Of course, I'm talking about the Little Brown Jug coming up next week, uh, next month, I should say, down at the Delaware County Fairgrounds. Do you think you guys will be down there with you, Rock, at the Little Brown Jug? Yes, if everything goes well, I think he'll be going there. All right, congratulations, uh, Brian Zent. Of course, his dad, Bill Zent, used to race here back in the uh, 70s, uh, the winning trainer and also the owners, Robert Hunsinger and James Webb Jr. of Pennsylvania. Congratulations to all the connections of you, Rock, and a great job driving there, Brian. Right, thank you. The trifecta on the 11th race returned $147.80, the exacta $43.60. The pick three was $98.80. The guy won seventh. Jacobs Western, fourth, up front Brad, second, Captain Silver Hills, sixth, the mile 153.